Okay, do you give um, verbal permission to participate as a model in this assessment assignment to be recorded for school purposes for Aspen University Class N-495? Yes. This assignment is intended to show my skills with the assessment actions only and is not to be used as direction for your health status or follow up with any irregular findings. Do you understand this? Um, my name is Robin Hyden. Um, I, I am an RN and I will be doing a head to toe assessment as part of an, um, my assignment for health assessment. Um, I will have you give your first and last name and spell your last name. Adrian Hyden, H-E-I-D-E-N. And your date of birth? 6 8 of 89. And I would, I'm going to check your vital signs. We'll do your blood pressure on your left arm. This will be blood pressure and pulse. As I count your respirations, um, I will check a temperature later off um, camera because my thermometer, um, the, bit, the electronic one is not working. I'll also have you tell me the uh, current date. March. 13th of 2020. And can you tell me your location, what city that we live in? Canby, Minnesota. And who is the current president? Donald Trump. That blood pressure is 119 over 66 with a pulse of 69 and respirations were at 20. I will start currently with the head to toe with an assessment of the um, head, neck, and hair, showing that the head is normal cephalic um, and of good symmetry, and um, hair is of good quality, um, no lesions on her head. And uh, then I will proceed to the uh, cranial nerve eight. I will have um, you clench your jaw and then also smile and frown and puff out your cheeks. And then also with your jaw clenched, I'm gonna have you open, try to open up your mouth against my hand, which she can do with ease. And then I'm going to check um, the uh, temp uh, temporal for TMJ. I'll have you open your mouth. And then we'll also feel the mass center muscle, the temporal muscle. And I'm going to feel for the temporal artery, which is present. I would give it a number two. And then I'm going to um, check for all of that. Um, I'm also going to feel her um, maxillary sciences, any pain or pressure here. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a temporal. And then also the maxillary, any pain or pressure. No. Okay. And then I next I will um, switch to the eyes, looking at the eyelids, there's no swelling. Um, the sclera is white, her conjunctiva is nice and pink, her pupils are of equal size. And the next I am going to check cranial nerve three um, with the, uh, the cardinal gazes. Um, so I'm going to have you look at the actual pen, look straight ahead, Follow the pen as I move it to the different locations, just with your eyes. And that is a normal exam. And then I am going to use the pen light. Um, I'll have you look right straight ahead. I'm going to bring the light to the side and just check the pupil size. Good dilation when I do that. And then I will check for accommodation. So I will have you stare straight ahead and I am going to just bring this up to your nose and then out. Just keep staring straight ahead. And out. Yes, the pupils um, accommodate for that. So we would then cause that call that she has normal her pupils are equal and they react to light and accommodation is good the next thing i'm going to check is her ears and i will do exterior here for any pain or pressure 
I do not have an otoscope available, so I will not be able to um, view the tympanic membrane, but if I did, I would look for the um, light onto the tympanic membrane to see if that is normal. The next I will, um, the next down, I will uh, address the nose. Nose is in the midline, um, sym uh, symmetric, no nut nasal discharge. I will just use my pen and just look for any polyps or, or um, any um, nasal discharge. Then I'll also check for patency. If you would put a finger on one nostril and breathe in and out, and now the other nostril. Okay, are you having a pain anywhere today? That is part of the vital sign that I missed at the beginning. No pain, and zero would be no pain, and 10 would be the worst that you've ever had. Okay, and then I will check the mouth. Her, pink, her lips are pink. Um, they are not chapped or cracked. And then I will have you open, and I will look with the pen light for any lesions or anything in the mouth. I'll have you raise your tongue to the top, to the roof of your mouth. Nothing there. The next thing I will check um, cranial nerve um, 10 by having you um, say ah, as you have your mouth open, ah, ah, ah. The ah. uvula is midline and she is <clears throat> able to say that. Um, I will move on then to the neck and check for anything swollen that the trachea is midline. Um, no swelling here and then I will check her um, lymph glands start with the peri uh, um, ocular or ocular here in front she's had a little bit of a cold so there is some mild tenderness back in here there with the cervical and the occipital back in here and then the low jaw and the submental, submandibular, and in here, and the sub um, clavicular, and back here behind the ear. And then I will fill for her carotid pulse, good pulse. I'm going to listen for Bruy, although I do not have a bell on the stethoscope. And I'm going to have you breathe in and then breathe out and hold. And then we'll do the other side. Sounds good. And then I will move to the upper extremities and I will feel for her radial pulse. Good strong pulse. Good skin turgor. And cat, she does have on um, fingernail polish, but basically we can get a good cap refill. And then I will check for muscle strength. I'll have you squeeze my fingers and then put your hands up and push against me and pull against me. Good, strong. And then I'm going to just cheap feel in the elbow here. No clicks. Okay, and then I'm um, watch for, um, we'll do the chest exam. She has good breathing, good steady breathing. And um, then I will um, listen for the heart at this time. I'll start here on the right side. And then over to the left. And then down at this point in the mitral, and this is where I would listen for one full minute for the apical pulse, but as long as we have the time constraint. And that the normal for uh, an adult would be 60 to 100. And at this point, I would listen with the bell portion in the same portions for any murmurs, but I will um, not proceed with that because the stethoscope does not have a bell. And um, I have been watching for the breathing effort as I'm doing this, and breathing is um, 
normal effort and then I'll have you turn and I will examine the back. Will he feel on the back for any tenderness? And then now I am going to uh, feel for the tactile frematis. I'm going to feel in the same spots and I'm going to have you say the number 99 as I move. 99, 99, 99, 99. And there is no um, excessive renaissance with that. Now I'm going to feel for any tenderness with percussion. And that sounds good. And now I will listen to the lung sounds. I will start with the back. So she has her back turned to me. I'll take you, have you take a deep breath. And over here. And here. And here. And again. And lung sounds are clear. And then I will have you turn to the other side or to the front and I will listen to the lungs in the front too. Mm -hmm. Same technique up here with the apex, deep breath. And here. And the lungs are sound clear. And then the next, I will have you lay down. Okay, I'm observing her abdomen now that she's lying down for any bulges or palpitations. Um, I'm going to auscultate or listen to her bowel sounds now, starting on the right. She has good bowel sounds right away. I'm also going to palpitate any pain. No. Discomfort. Okay. And then um, I'm going to have you go ahead and sit up. And then I will look at the lower joints for any swelling at the knees and at the ankles. And also check over her tibia for any swelling here. Turn this down just a little bit so we can see. And then I'm checking for her um, post tibial pulse bilaterally and they're present at it too and the dorsal pedal are also present she um, has on her on shoe polish so I won't I'm not able to or um, nail polish so I'm not, not able to check her cap refill at this time I'm going to have her um, press press against my feet or against my hands and then also down she has good strong strength there and then I'm also going to check her um, reflex here, her patellar reflex, good reflex, and also her brachial plexus reflex, and the side. And then I'm going to uh, check the cerebellar test. I will have her touch her finger to the nose, and then also her fingers, both sides and also her hands up and down and with, then we will um, also check her I'll have her stand up and we'll check the Romberg by standing with her hands in front and have her close her eyes nice and steady and then we will quickly test her gait I'll have her walk quickly and then back heel to toe not able to catch that on film but she does that nice um, that ends the assess my assessment for um, health assessment. Thank you.